Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so yesterday, when I was ex extracting honey from the beehives up in the fireweed area, I showed off my new little toy here. This is a refractometer designed to test water content in honey. And at the time, I didn't know what I was really doing with it when I first got it, because under this foam, you'll get a list of instructions on what to do with it. And in these instructions, well, the first thing it tells you to do is to calibrate the device and to calibrate it uh, blah 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 with distilled water well for a honey refractometer that's not right I tried to calibrate it with uh, distilled water and I never got a reading of any kind so I might have messed up the settings of my device um, but I've since learned that, and I think I've put it back to close to where it started out to be. Um, so I've learned since that uh, there's some other fluid that you can use to calibrate the honey refractometers. So when you get one of these, take that uh, user manual out and throw it away because it's not any good for you. And to calibrate them, there's this little rubber cover. I'll take it out of the box. There's this little rubber cover that goes over this device here, and then you get a little screwdriver with a kit, and you put it down in there and turn the adjusting screw. So, in order to calibrate a honey refractometer, all you need is something out of your kitchen cupboard called extra virgin olive oil. So, let's have a look at this and see. This is true or not. So what I need is something to do. So I'm just going to take a bit of this olive oil. I'm going to put it on the lens. Make sure there's no air bubbles in it. And let's see if I can see it. Okay, so I've got this at 73. On the brick scale, it should be 71.5. light in here for the camera to pick that up or not. There we go. So now that's calibrated to 71.5. So, let me uh, take a moment. I'll clean that off. I've got a uh, lot of honey here. This is honey that I brought down yesterday and extracted it already. And uh, we'll do a test on that and see what it looks like. So we'll be back in a minute. I've cleaned it with uh, some lukewarm soapy water and uh, dried it with a, uh, an actual an eye glass uh, towel. You know, something you use to clean your glasses with. Dip my little swizzle stick into the honey here. I'm just going to put some of that on the lens, lick off the rest. Oh, that's good stuff. And press that down so there's no air bubbles left in it. Thank you. 
So let's see if I can get that under the camera. Where's the lens? Alright, so you can see the water, con water content is on the right. So you can see that blue line is now around 15.5% water, which is perfect. So, I don't have to mess with the calibration anymore. I can put that cap back on there and leave it. And I don't have to touch it again, just in case I drop it or something, I may have to do that again. But that's what you're supposed to do to calibrate refractometers made for honey. So I just thought I'd put that out there because uh, I did mess with it using distilled water and it didn't work. So, like I said, if you get one of these little devices and you know, read the instructions, it says to use distilled water, take the instructions and throw it away. And get out your bottle of extra virgin olive oil, and you can just use the olive oil to check it. It should be 71.5 on the bricks scale, the scale in the middle. Alright, so hope you found this interesting, and uh, I will be making more videos later on, so um, hope you're all having a good day. Bye for now.